What's up YouTube, Dale here from Zephyr Wargames and today I'm going to take you through all of the confirmed products for the rest of the year leading up from July all the way through to November. Now there are a lot of products coming up and what I'm going to be doing in this video is going to give you a breakdown of each of those products, the release dates, the estimated prices and a quick preview of whether I feel they are worth investing in early even without the full information. So with all of that out of the way, please smash that like button, hit that notification bell and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more upcoming content. So we'll start off with the first known product that is next to come out and that is of course OTS Tournament Pack 22. Now this is due out the 19th of this month in local tournament stores. Now we don't know a huge amount about this, we do know that of course it does follow the exact same structure of three new ultimate rares. The one that we do know is confirmed is branded Fusion. Um, so definitely another rarity bump for all of the branded players out there, including myself. It also has a little nod here where it says thrust into action with OTS Tournament Pack 22 introducing three new ultimate rare cards including branded fusion. So could there possibly be an ultimate rare triple tactic thrust? It'd be a bit weird that it happens but would also be quite exciting if it happens. On top of that as well it also says... Um, it's talking a bit more about branded and despia cards as well available in higher rarities and you can upgrade this integral part of this deck as well um bling out the deck collect all new ultimate rares in tournament pack 2022 so there's not really like a huge amount more that's been revealed about this and considering that we are well currently recording this video it's the 6th of july so we're not too far away just under two weeks away i'd expect that in a week or so we'll start getting leaks of the other ulties and the other supers and everything else so nothing major about this, but just a quick nod and say, hey, look, new OTS packs coming in. Let's refresh it as the previous one involving Rhino Heart, Fenrir and Sprite Blue is starting to get a little bit old. Uh, moving on to the first big product remaining of the year, and that is, of course, the next core set, and that is Dueling Nexus. Now, there's a lot of hype on this right now, um, purely because it is giving us a new wave of support for a lot of cards, and it is introducing um, the basically... <coughs> I believe it's called their illusionists, but the, the new illusionist type, but that might get changed name here. And we just got a new illusionist the other day. It's basically a new fusion mechanic, which is looking pretty cool um, and was definitely a big hit in the OCG. So again, pretty standard for a core set right now. It's a hundred card set. The only difference with this set, and I'm not sure if it actually says it down here. So I'm just going to quick breeze over this. Yep, there we go. So Dueling Nexus also includes a brand new world premiere theme and introduces quarter century secret rares to core boosters for the first time. 25 cards will be available as quarter century secret rares to represent 25 years of Yu-Gi-Oh. So there will no longer be starlights in the set, but there will be 25 quarter century rares like we got in the new Battles of Legend. And it says down here, 24 of these cards are also available as quarter century rares, and one special card is only available as a quarter century secret rare, which is basically the legacy card that they would introduce. Now the hopes are that these quarter century rares will be more common than the um, Starlight rares, but because there's more of them to get, it doesn't really change the value of a huge amount. Like some of them, they kind of hit the collector rare value. And what I mean by that is when you look at the Battles of Legend, um, you can look at IP Mascarina and you can look at Lubellion. Lubellion sits at about £200, give or take, and the Mascarina sits at about 300 Then you get other ones like the uh, Grand Hydra, which sits at like 30 quid. So always going to be different. 10 secret rares, 14 ultra rares. You could do the mass right away, and if Konami really wanted to, they could bump the secret rares and the ultra rares, and that covers the 24. But I would like the idea that some of the commons and the super rares also get like a really high upgrade. On top of that as well, there are brand new Synchron monsters in this set, and I highly expect the Synchron Dragon to be a um, quarter century secret rare. There's also Hot Summer Knights Return. Three years after they first appeared in Rise of the Duelist, the epic saga of the fiery Infernoble Knights continues in Dueling Nexus. Dust off your Infernoble Knight Emperor Charles and your equip spells as you'll need them to summon a brand new 3000 attack Link 1 monster. And trust me, some of those cards look really, really kind of cool. 
There's obviously um, more support for the Nomelia, um, and then like I've already said, there's Elvisaur, uh, Evil Saw, sorry, and then there's also um, more Synchron cards as well. Not to mention a couple of little generic cards like the, um, I think it's like a, the new Fusion Deployment, which isn't Fusion Deployment. I can't remember the exact name off the top of my head. I'll try and find it and put it on the screen for you guys. But these will retail about $4.50 a pack, nine cards a pack, pretty standard as you'd expect. Two secrets a box, um, four ultras a box, and then the remainders to be supers. And then off the back of that as well, there could be the chance that a lucky one would be a quarter century secret rare. So the hopes of that, I quite like the idea that they're a lot easier to pull because then it kind of gives you that better feeling from buying a box. Like, okay, you get an amazing feeling if you buy a box and you pull a Starlight rare because you're like, yo, one in two cases. Um, but then it kind of just makes it easier for more people. Moving on to the next one. Now the next one is Legendary Duelist Soul Burner Volcano. Now this is the one that introduces us to um, volcanic support, um, Salaman Great support, and of course battling boxer support. So this one could possibly contain a ghost rare. Um, let's read down to see if there's any mention. Yep, yeah, there you go, ghost rare card. So this is going to introduce our next Ghost Rare, considering the last line of Ghost Rares we got was in Ghost from the Past 2. Um, I would really like to see a Salaman Grey um, Wolf as a, a Ghost Rare, but it could... Could it be Volcanic? It could be a Volcanic as well, actually. That would be pretty cool. And then the only other one... <laughs> Salaman Great Gazelle, that would be pretty funny. I reckon it will be Pyro Phoenix, just because that's the way I see it happening. I can see Konami just going, here you go, here, you can have the link for that has been power crept massively by um, access code. So these ones are a little bit cheaper. They're £2.25 a pack. It's five cards per pack. Um, it is very much um, streamlined to those that are interested in specifically pyro or fire decks, especially battling boxes, volcanics, and then, of course, the Salomon Greats themselves. I don't think any of the individual cards themselves are complete game changers and will make any of these decks fully meta competitive and dominant, but it's still a very kind of cool upgrade for fire decks, um, and I can't wait to see what actually happens with uh, all of the new support that comes within this set. So 9 ultra rares, 8 super rares, rares and commons, um, and kind of going from there. So. And then moving on... So so the next one is of course on the 8th of September so we do get so I don't know if I mentioned it on this one this one's coming out the 11th of August so we're not so far off of this uh, and then of course the 8th uh, 8th of September technically the 6th because the OTS stores get to launch it a little bit earlier $22 per tin um, and these are the brand new 25th anniversary dueling tins now the artwork this is the one that was dropped by Konami and this is what makes it really kind of cool so Doubled Prismatic Secret Rares and a bonus quarter century Secret Rare in every tin. So Prismatic Secret Rares are one of the things Dawlis love most about each year's Mega Tins. Um, since tins are the only place to find these exclusive beautiful rarity types, and this year we're giving them twice as many. So each tin will contain two Prismatic Secret Rares, two Ultra Rares, a Super Rare, a rare and 12 commons there will also be one quarter century secret rare which will be of one of the artworks along the side of the box so you've got um the rank four for salaman greats you've got firewall dragon neos cyber dragon rainbow dragon red eyes exodia and then of course dark magician so these are all of the uh, like basically the good guys for the anime the red eyes is a little bit weird so is the exodia like I feel on the rest of the box, there's definitely a Stardust. There'll definitely be a Utopia there. Um, maybe an Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. We've got, obviously got Firewall. Uh, we've got Neos for Jaden. And then, of course, we've got Dark Magician for Yugi. I'm just cool that we're going to get a 25th secret of this particular artwork of Dark Magician. I'll be disappointed if they change it to the other one um, because we've already had that. So the Megatins are always a highlight of the year. It involves booster pack reprints from Battles of Chaos, Dimension Force, Darkwing Blast, Tactical Masters, and Grand Creators. So there's some very cool cards in there. Um, the one thing the tins kind of do is they never really confirm exactly what's going to be in there until the tins are opened. So naturally you assume, okay, cool, I can get, you know, like Cash Tira Monsters, I can get... Um, the illusion of chaos i can also get um dynamorphias i can get the lubellians the beasties everything like that and they'll be like yeah no we're going to save the beasties for another set um but the tins are always worth going for in my opinion and now that they're adding back these quarter century secret rares as like a promo is also quite nice as well to be able to pick them up 
but do keep in mind if you're like i don't want any of the reprints i don't really care about any of the foil upgrades i just want the quarter centuries for a collection um i personally still think it's worth buying the tins because then whatever else you get in that one tin you could have enough to trade off the remaining quarter centuries um but if the quarter centuries follow the same as the legendary duelist ones that we got previously with the dark magician the god cards blue eyes red eyes then you can probably pick those up for about like five to ten pound per card if not a little bit less then we move on to the first and only structured deck for the remainder of the year that we know of, and that is called the Crimson King. So this is due out on the 20th slash 22nd of September, so a couple of weeks after the Megatins. Uh, retail for about $12, and this is, of course, if you are massive fans of the um, Hot Red Dragon Archfiend, or of course, through 5Ds as well. So, welcome back, Jack Atlas, getting support for his Red Dragon Archfiend and, of course, Red Nova Dragons with some very cool upgrades. So, of course, it does contain five Ultra Rares. You would definitely expect the cover card, uh, which is this guy here, the brand new Hot Red, to be an Ultra Rare. Um, he does got a couple of cool cards in this structure deck. Again, not enough to kind of make it fully competitive, in my opinion, um, but there will be some nice reprints, like there is that one... Uh, resonator that's like 15 quid for a common so that will be in here hopefully and then it will be the generic cards that will be reprinted hopefully not an ash blossom hopefully we'll get something a little bit more um varied and something we haven't seen before but you just never know uh, but yeah, this is definitely one of them ones that if you're a 5Ds fan, a Jack Atlas fan, or of course a um, Red Dragon Archfiend Resonator fan, you're definitely going to want to pick up. What would have been really kind of cool is all of these ones that had the 25th, I would have liked them to have had like at least the stamp on them, like the 25th stamp, just because it makes it a little bit more unique and a little bit more celebratory. And you're like, yeah, cool, I've got a 20th, then you don't really care. It's like, yeah, I've got this Ash Blossom with a 25th anniversary like stamp on it. It makes it a little bit separate from the previous reprints. Uh, and then the penultimate that we know of so far is Age of Overlord. So this is the next core set. Keep in mind there are there probably will be another side set, like a deck builder set that will come out as well. And when that does drop, we will provide updates for this. Now, Age of o Overlord is like the most recent set, and it's still having cards revealed in the OCG. Most recently, funnily enough, this morning, um, one that did get revealed is the brand new Snake Eyes which is a really kind of cool art type. And then there also is a um, a new one called the Diabella Stars, which looks really kind of cool. But um, as of yet, not meta-defining, but just cool two new art types in this set. You can see as well that it's a retrain of Zark. So that's going to be interesting to see how that affects pendulums going forward. Um, and then in between all of this, we might even get a ban list that might shake up the game a little bit more. So again, 100 set booster pack, um, 20th of October. So again, each month you're definitely getting something that is uh, relatively big in the product releases. Then as we move down, of course, it does mention that you've got a retrain of Summon Supreme King's Ark. You've got Visa Starfrost Law continues as well. And then on top of that, it does also say that there will be 24 of the Quarter Century Secret Rares and one reprinted Secret Rare as well. Um, or Quarter Century Secret Rare, so a Legacy card, possibly Zark, which would be quite interesting. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the core boosters for the remainder of the year. This one due out in October, which means our next core one won't be until the start of 2024. Um, so I can't wait to see what that's going to bring as well. Then finally, and probably the biggest product of the entire year, in my opinion, is the 25th anniversary rarity collection. So this is the most expensive booster box as a new set to ever come out in Yu-Gi-Oh! Now, what I mean by that is, obviously, of course, if you go and buy like a first edition Blue Eyes White Dragon box that's sealed and protected and all that stuff, it's going to cost you pretty much your whole body. But, um, as a brand new booster set that hits the market and individual pack prices, this one's going to be expensive. Now, it says here $4.99 um, per pack. I believe the retail for UK is something like £6 per pack, so that's like $7. Uh, the booster boxes are hitting anywhere from like $100 to $140 a box, give or take. It's a 79 card booster set. It's due out in November, so the first week of November. And it involves two new technologies which basically come over from the OCG. So, the 25th anniversary rarity collection is this spectacular all-foil set with 79 of the game's most popular cards, each available in seven different rarities, including two brand new rarities. Super rares, ultra rares, secret rares, quarter century secret rares, 
Platinum Secret Rares, which were last seen in the 2015 Megatin. So that was the um, Brotherhood of the Firefish, Tiger King, and Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, I want to say. And then it's got the new Prismatic Style Collector's Rares, made with extra sparkle. This is the same as the Japanese Collector Rares technology, previous only available in Asia. And trust me, if you haven't seen those, they do look beautiful. But what looks even better is a new prismatic style ultimate rare with raised 3D varnish effect. This is the same as the Japanese ultimate rare and they look beautiful. Trust me, there are some ultimate rares out there in, in the OCG and you're like, holy crap. Um, but if that wasn't enough to kind of pique your interest just for getting all these different rarities, on top of that as well, you get Ash Blossom, Nibiru, Effect Veiler, Imperm, Baron de Floor, Borrowed, Savage Dragon, Egyptian God Slime. <laughs> like, hmm, that seems a little bit out of price. Pot of Prosperity, Triple Tactic Talent, and Forbidden Droplet. Now that's only what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 cards from 79. Like, there's still another 69. Huh? Uh, cards left to be revealed, and that's insane. Each pack will contain two super rares. One secret rare with a 1 in 4 chance of being upgraded to a platinum secret rare or a quarter century secret rare. And then two ultra rares, each of which have an individual 1 in 6 chance of being upgraded to the new prismatic style collector's rare or ultimate rare. I also read somewhere um, that you can get the odd chance that each pack will contain. Like you could basically, what I mean is you could get a pack. And you open up, you get two super rares. You'll also get a quarter century rare, an ultimate rare, and a prismatic style as well. So, like, you could get a pack full to the brim of all of the high rarity cards. Or you can get a pack that's like, yeah, nah, you're just getting all low rarity, bro. The hopes are that because everything is available at all of the rarities, that it's quite nice for everyone. Because then I'm kind of like, well, if you just need an Ash Blossom, you probably get it from Structure Deck, but it's like, if you just need an Ash Blossom, you probably get it as a super rare. If you just need a Baron, you can probably get it as a super rare. Pot of Prosperity, super rare. Talent, super rare. Droplet, super rare. But then if you're like, yo, I want to upgrade my secret droplets or my secret talents and I want to get the new Ultima Rare style, you might need to pay a little bit more, but you can upgrade it if you want. So it is very nice to kind of see this happening. Uh, the issue is the cost of it, the base cost is crazy expensive. Like per booster pack, less so for the states. Like if the states stay at $4.99, that's pretty average when you look at um, $4.49. So it's only like 50 cents more. But the line here in the UK is it's going up from £4 a pack to about £6 a pack. Yes, you're going to get more value for it because you could, you know, pull a card straight away and makes it some money. But I feel that we're falling in the territory like Magic the Gathering where they have like collector sets. And those collector sets are like £30 a pack when you look at the Lord of the Rings one. Um, so... I hope we don't fall within that territory. I hope this is just like, here, 25th anniversary, we'll do another one for the 50th, 75th, and 100th. Not that I'm going to be around here for the 100th. Um, but it's still kind of interesting to see, and it'll be very interesting to kind of see how cool they look, um, the new Ultima Res and everything like that coming into the TCG. And it's definitely a set that I'm excited for. I just hope that the ratios and the pull rates are fair and balanced. Anyway, that's it for the official products on the Yu-Gi-Oh! card website. So as you'll see at the top, it's yu-gi-oh-card.com forward slash en forward slash products forward slash whatever. So products will pretty much get you everywhere you need to go. Um, if more do get officially announced, I will do an updated video for this as well as we get closer to the end of the year. But hopefully this gives you an idea of the type of booster packs to be looking out for. In my opinion, the best ones are this 25th anniversary rarity collection, if you can find them for a decent price, and the Megatins. So the Megatins are always going to be a very kind of cool value card or value set because you can get loads of reprints that you might need. And even then, the reprints are usually upgrades on previous ones. So you get the upgrades and then you can trade them for the downgrades because everyone's going to want to upgrade. Um, and then you're able to pretty much double your investment. Not to say that the Legendary Duelist isn't appealing to those that are fans of the free art types mentioned. And then, of course, Dueling Nexus and, of course, Age of Overlord won't be decent introductions to the TCG game. But for now, if you're looking for general value and how cool the product would be to open, the 25th Anniversary Rarity Collection and, of course, the Megatins are my two to watch for now. 
Anyway, I hope this has given you a very cool, very simple and easy dive breakdown into the upcoming products of the year. If you have any questions at all, by all means, please let me know in the comments down below. But also let me know which product you are personally hyped for and looking forward to in the remainder of 2023. But for now, as absolutely always, stay safe and of course, happy dueling.